Now the little window in the attic. I had taken the measurements and we've ordered these windows custom made, made to size. And it took about two months before we had them. And I go up in the attic with the window frame that I obviously already had varnished. Silly me. And it doesn't fit, it's too small. About 10 centimeters short of the total width of the window frame. This window frame is 10 centimeters narrower than the opening. I can't find my notes, what I have measured and what I have ordered. It could be a mistake from me and it could be a mistake from the shop. We've ordered three custom window frames. The two big frames that I have installed in last episode and this one and they were all a bit off i i, I don't know who uh, where the mistake lies and it doesn't really matter i i need to install these windows i can't wait two months for new window frames even if it was their mistake so what i've done i've just made the window frames a little bit wider five centimeter on each side still gotta screw on the beam on this side and uh, that's gonna be it it's not a window that you're gonna see it's high up, uh, you don't really see it. And the color of this beam that I already used before, this is the color of the wood in the garden, remember? It's gonna blend in. This is not going to be really disturbing uh, to have them. So I'm just screwing them on. And then finally, uh, the top floor will be, yeah, will be weather tight. This is actually a tool uh, sold for uh, wallpapering jobs, but uh, I've never done any wallpapering, but I thought it was a great straight edge for cutting because, you know, it keeps your fingers away from the edge. Really useful. See, I've got these uh, these ladders. I've got two of them. You can fold them here. You can make it a long, straight ladder. You can make it sort of a scaffold by folding them at this at these points. They're really they're really useful um, for certain work. They're really useful for other work. They are quite cumbersome. For example, I need to be working on this little window up here, and moving this thing around is just really cumbersome so i was looking for one of those telescopic ladders just a ladder but that you can pull out and collapse fold in so to speak um, after this project i could use that ladder in my van makes it easy for me to get up on the roof and inspect the solar panels in the roof hatch but it's also in folding state easy for me to pack up and take with me so I was looking at the different sorts of ladders that are around, folding ladders, telescopic ladders, so to speak. And I found a number of them, but as I am, oh, you get a lot of sunlight there. Ah, spring. Is this better? This is better. But yeah, I mean, as I am already a big guy, 130 kilos. <clears throat> And I need to carry up my tools on the ladder and sometimes also uh, a bucket of cement. That weight adds up. Most of these ladders are having a maximum payload of 150 kilos. And then I found this one. 
and this has a payload of 170 kilos. That's a lot better because I would like to have some redundancy as well. Uh, falling down the ladder with a bucket of uh, cement is, 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 uh, is no fun. So I contacted uh, Vivo and I said, listen, why don't you give me one for free? And they said, well, if you give us a review in one of your videos, then we could probably uh, do that. So I've just received it, just in time, because i got to be working up there now. Mm. Just going to have a look at this one. This is the first time I have ever held one of these in my hands. Done quite a bit of research. But I'll still have to figure out how this exactly works. Hmm. Oh, let's put it in position and try it out, huh? Oh, this is... That's a manual. We don't use that because we're a man. And now... How do you lock this? Ah, there's red dots that indicate that it's not locked, I guess. Oh, and then you pull it, and then it's a green dot, and that indicates that it's locked. Oh, wow, so... Yeah, so when you slide it out, every step has these green indicators indicating that it's locked and then you can unlock them and oh, automatically they unlock. Oh, that's awesome. So if I were to unlock all the way in the bottom, then automatically the whole ladder would sort of automatically slide in. So yeah, that's a pretty cool system. Uh, you pull it out, it locks itself. You press the two notches on either step as low as possible if you, if you want to fold it in one go and the whole ladder by, by means of gravity uh, folds itself. It's just super easy and super fast. That's, uh, that's a great solution, because uh, this is a lot less cumbersome to move around, of course. And with 170 kilograms of payload, that's sufficient. That's sufficient for one person with tools, with materials, carrying things up and still have redundancy as a safety measure. So, yeah, we're going to use it. I have told uh, Vevor... Uh, Listen, I, I will only accept free gifts uh, if I can give an honest uh, assessment, an honest uh, review of your product, because I respect my viewers just too much. So yeah, I'm going to use it this week. I'm going to install that uh, little window frame that I have already, well, we ordered it custom made. I have already varnished it and I'm uh, going to install it, hopefully. I want to have the frame sitting on the, yeah, what do you call it, the edge of the wall, the outside edge of the wall, because uh, then we can use this here for uh, pots or pans, because this is going to be the kitchen, according to a new plant, or maybe a hanging plant that drapes down. Yeah, I think this could be quite useful area, inside area. I could have placed the window a little bit further in, but that there's, there's no benefit to doing that.
Okay, so now, now the window's hanging free. It's just uh, suspended in the air by those two screws in the top, which are screwed into the wooden lintel. There's no forces on the frame. I'm just gonna sort of secure it in a uh, yeah, uh, vertical, uh, straight vertical line so that the window door doesn't open and, and fall closed. But that's about it. I'm not going to put it under any more stress. And then I'm going to seal it off on the edges, let the sealant cure. And uh, maybe reinforce it with a screw here and there, but I don't even think that's necessary. Just making sure that the window now is balanced, is uh, horizontally square. And I do that by adjusting the screws in the top. I've said it hundreds of times during these vlogs. Never skimp on your caulking. Just when your caulking fails, when your paint fails, when your varnishes, sealants, glues fail, you have a nightmare on your hands. Do it right straight from the beginning. I've got to install a rainwater gutter system here on this wall and it's really needed because uh, yeah the the rainwater is currently going from the roof which has moss on it over the walls and the walls are turning green I uh, urgently need to uh, take care of this um, this whole wall behind me was originally inside some build-up structure behind here. It, I don't know what it was, but there was a water heater hanging. I don't know what it, whether it ever has been used as an accommodation space uh, by the uh, old inhabitants of this house 25 years ago. So uh, yeah, we took that off. And obviously this wall behind me on the terrace is different than what used to be, what always has been exterior walls. Now we are going, hopefully, to build a pergola on here because I'm standing on the roof terrace and that would be just absolutely epic to have a pergola here with like a grapevine growing or so. You can sit under here even when it's raining and enjoy the view, right? So uh, because of this pergola, I'm going to have a divider sort of there and that divides the outside area with the roof terrace area and by doing that i can get away with a new render here on the roof terrace, uh, roof terrace area and the existing old render on the uh, other side so i don't have to render the whole uh, outside exterior in one go but yeah, I need to install uh, rainwater gutters. And in order to do that, I need to take some roof tiles off, finish that lime 
mortar that's on top of the lintel. It's not completely closed yet. I need to close that off and then uh, I can install a guttering system. Now, I can only install the guttering system, unfortunately, for, well, the area above the roof terrace here because I just don't have a ladder or scaffolding to reach this part of the wall. You know, that is uh, a five, five and a half meter working height. I, I can't get to it. So yeah, the gutter will probably sort of come to here and then I got to rig up a temporary pipe so that it drains down in the, in the uh, rainwater drainage really that we installed last year. So uh, yeah, let's just start by removing a number of these uh, tiles and filling up the gaps with uh, lime water. Mm -hmm. mounting these uh, brackets for the guttering system on the tile slats because I know that these are strong I've installed them myself right so I could install them on the wall but that's just lime mortar and I just don't trust it that much Always pre-drill your timber, otherwise it will crack. Yeah, I might have to adjust it later actually, because you want to have a slope, right, in your, in your cutter. Not too much, just uh, a centimeter per meter, one percent or so. Right, that's too fitted. And then I can start backfilling the mortar here on top. Mm, the bubble is exactly where I want it to be. Yep. Unless my bubble gauge is broken and the bubble goes in the wrong direction, that's fine. Good enough slope. This uh, pattern here behind me is called Genoise and there were questions whether we would uh, carry that uh, on uh, above the terrace. Uh, we're not because we're going to have a pergola up here uh, and the rain uh, drain gutter is going to sit in front of it. It's just uh, not necessary. You're not going to see it anyway. Yeah, so I've been using these uh, Vevo steps, stairs, now for the whole day, inside and outside, and I'm, uh, I'm really positive about them. I uh, notice another few things, that's the non-step uh, legs on there, and then this, this rubber catch. And uh, it, 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 it doesn't damage if you, if you set it uh, onto uh, a varnished plank, plank of wood like I did today, the lintel. Um, I feel super, super safe on them. Uh, they can carry my payload and that's really important for me because I am far away from emergency services working here on my own. Um, yeah, so feeling safe is quite, quite an important issue for me. Now I'm, I'm, I'm super, super pleased with them. They're super light. They will not replace uh, the stairs that I already have because they have different functions, but uh, very, very, very happy to add these uh, to the collection of toys. Um, at their request, I have a link in the description. If you wanna order yourself a pair, then uh, feel free to use the link. So I, uh, I filled up the gaps with, uh, with a lime mortar and I put uh, the tiles back in place. We've got uh, the rain pipe up, but bugger me. I just quickly went went to the shop to pick up some parts because I really want to finish that pipe, you know, that it leads into uh, 
the evacuation of the rainwater instead of pouring out of an open-ended uh, rain gutter. But then uh, I bought the wrong pieces, the wrong sizes. Uh, uh, no, I can't finish this today, unfortunately. Hey, thank you very much for the people who have supplied us with uh, our dosage of uh, caffeine. You are our heroes. Thank you all for watching, for liking, for subscribing, for commenting, and just engaging with the channel, really. See you next time. Bye now.